Black Wizard in the Flesh will now tell you his story about the game. From the viewpoint of the light side, in terms the dark side can understand. His story about the game always starts around six million years ago. And it does not matter what iteration it is in. For it always starts out like this. Three races of humans were born into this world. They are known as the True Bloodline, for this line had 24 chromosomes in it, and was born from the Nephilim, who always appeared to be exactly like another form of life on the planet, so they blend in. So a Nephilim from the race of white gorillas gave birth to human babies, and the black race was born first. Then an abellum from the black race gave birth to human babies of the gray race. Then an abellum from the gray race gave birth to human babies. And the last race was the white race. Each race had a reason. The black race was making this world safe for humankind. It was a battle against the insects and what you call the dinosaurs. And little has changed since then. Only the dark side forgot who they were safetying it from. It took them 3,000 years to do this, and the gray race was born to bring civilization. And after another 3,000 years, the white race was to bring balance to this world of humans. A man named Horus built a pyramid for all mankind and called it Sanctuary. Using the power of trinary energy, he proved that one person could build anything they put their mind to building. It was powered by trinary energy, and with the help of two others, named Seth and Shu, who built two more pyramids next to the one horse built, and the three of them created a ring called the Ring of Power, which you know it as the Stargate. This technology enabled them to harness the trinary energy and gave them unlimited power. With it, they powered the arc light, which they used for light, cooking, and industrial use, and ushered in a new era. Computers and holographic systems were fabricated, looking much like stone, but was, in fact, silicone-based computers but more sophisticated than our own of this time. This period of history is called Paradise, till one day a white man named Adam married a black woman named Eve, meaning dark, and who also had an extra rib, but that trait was phased out during Darwin's evolution. But the mixing of the races was against the doctrine of the true bloodline, and the reason for this would soon become clear. Adam and Eve had a baby who was named Cain. As the child grew up, he was branded with the name U, spelled Y-E-W, by his peers, because Cain thought he was an animal, like the sheep he tended. He did not believe that his eye, or soul, was God, and in fact, believed that God was someone else. Abel, his brother, told Cain he was light, and that God was all light with no darkness, and he was not the animal, and must not act like it, because acting like an animal is a sin. This got Cain mad, and in his rage he killed his brother. The elder tribe of the true bloodline decided to banish Cain for his crime. It was the first murder they have ever had in the six million years of paradise. And it was because Cain did not see the light and did not believe it existed. So he chose to be an animal, free will and all. Cain tried to talk others into leaving paradise with him, promising them a better life one in which all forms of pleasure would not be denied. 
for sins of the flesh did not apply to him. But no one would go with him. So he raped his half-sister and got her pregnant, getting the whole family expelled from paradise. And in the night, Cain kidnapped the other daughters, never to be seen by the true bloodline for forty years. On Cain's return, he had many sons and daughters, as well as grandchildren. This was an abomination in the eyes of the true bloodline, so it's no surprise that they did not welcome Cain back, and told him that not only was he a you, nothing but an animal, but he only cared about himself and not others as if this world and the people in it were just for him to do with as he pleased. He was just you. So they called him a Jew, which meant that he was not a true blood. A simple blood test would show you he or his descendants did not have the full 24 chromosomes and that Jews believed that they were animals, like you, that only care about themselves. Just you, Jew. And this made Cain even more furious. And he told the true bloodline that he would raise an army and come back and take sanctuary for themselves. And he left paradise for the last time. 276 years later, the descendants of Cain returned, led by a man named Moses, who had nothing but the hatred of Cain inside of him, and came back and raped, tortured, and murdered the true bloodline, and then destroyed the ring of power, and melted it down to make a golden statue and money and took the Ark Light and kept it in a cover, then imposed his laws on all of mankind. And so the game begun. Three thousand years later, a man named Jesus was born who said he was the resurrection of Horus. He was a shepherd, and everyone that knew him knew his story. But they thought he was crazy. How could he be the resurrection of Horus? He would have to be the son of God to do that. So the town he lived in banished him for telling his story. So him and his sheepdog set out on a journey to return to the pyramids and prove what he was saying was the truth. On his journey, Jesus told the people that they were the light, and not the animals like the sheep his dog guarded. And only through the light can mankind stop the sin. The sins of the flesh are many, and those that follow the dark side will forever sin, for they know not what they are doing. This angered the followers of Cain and Moses, who have now created the ultimate government called Rome. And Jesus said to the sheeple that you do not have to follow them. You can come back to the light side, and all you have to do is let go of the dark side, and you can see the light. The sheeple gathered around Jesus, the powers that be saw Jesus' flock growing, and did not want that to happen. So they tried to merge his story with their religion, and said he could teach it at their churches. So he tried, till one day he walked in on a priest molesting a child, which is what priests do. But Jesus could not tolerate this animal behavior, and Jesus was not a man to anger. On his way out of the church, he noticed a priest selling merchandise in front of the church. So he tossed a table made of stone as if it was made of wood, and swore to his flock that this kind of behavior could not be tolerated, and said his journey shall continue 
and those that wish to follow him were welcome to come. So the masses followed Jesus out of the city. The powers that be knew that Jesus was going to show them how to ascend. This caused a great deal of problems for the government because it would prove to the sheeple that they were the light and not the animals that the powers that be controlled. So they came up with a plan and they captured Jesus and sentenced him to death for crimes of treason against the state. Jesus told you that they could kill me, but I will never die. Then Jesus stood before his followers and told them that they would deny him three times. The first time is when they would deny that he was the light and not the animal in the flesh. The second time would be when they denied they even knew his name which was Jesus Bar Abbas. And the third time they denied him would be when they denied his story. And even if he destroyed the church, they could change his story in three days, and every one of you would go along with it. For the past 2,000 years, the game has continued to the point where the fate of this world is about to come to an end. And to teach you how this was done, we will play this game one more time and hear all the rules. We will use a pyramid to represent this game. It will have 13 steps at its base and have 13 levels to its top. And every step will have 13 stories to it. And we will play on three sides. The gray side will be the starting side. It will separate the white and black sides. And you must finish each step before going on to the next step. But not all 13 stories will need to be told to the very end. Unlike the game the dark side loves to play, which is called Monopoly, where the banks owns the governments and everything else, including the sheeple, and can print as much money as it wants, as long as the dark side leaders do its bidding. The light side game does not require money, since money is evil, and not just the root of it. Money is how this game got started, when Moses melted down the ring of power to give the Jews money so they could control their flocks by laws and hide from the light every time a wizard was born who would always resurrect Horus and now Jesus and tell his story one more time. So they created the Knights Templar to kill these wizards so the game could continue without this interruption of the truth. So this is the game. The truth is all we have. And the only way to protect myself from these knights was to become a knight myself. First a black knight, and now a white knight. But now the powers that be are puzzled. How did I learn to beat them at their own game? You were born into this game. You do not know any other way of life, so you think this reality is the truth, when in fact it's just the game the dark side loves to play. So I call this game Evil, which is the reverse of Live. So we will call this game the live version of the game, the Light Wizard's game. And all you have to do is play it. To play this game, you must first let go of the dark side and all its dark side beliefs so you can see the light. And this means you need to know the truth. And I do not care what you believe, nor does the universe know it or know it not. Jesus before me was the resurrection of Horus. 
But unlike Jesus, I am not the resurrection of Horus, or Jesus himself. I am the resurrection of Jesus' dog. Although I could have resurrected Horus or Jesus, no one in the dark side would have believed me. In fact, they would have said I was crazy and had the Messiah Syndrome. So like Jesus before me, who was the resurrection of Horus, I decided to be the dog. And everyone that knows me knows I am a dog. And like a good sheepdog, I will watch after my flock. So if you get out of line, I will nip at your heels. For I am a healer. After running you around, you will feel healthier. This game is not for everyone. Because not everyone will know the truth. They are too brainwashed into believing what the powers that be tell them is the truth. That they will never know the truth. And this is how the game is played. It's not what you believe, but what you know. And how do I know this? I am the light. I am the darkness. I am ever a shade of gray in between. I am the light wizard in 